We shouldn't be apologetic. And I take exception to what Johan Rupert said, that radical economic transformation means it's a code for theft. I think we should condemn that in the strongest of terms. Coming from people who took our land, coming from people who are monopolizing the economy today. And of course they say that because they want to resist. So they want us to be scared that if we do it, we'll, they will be seen as thieves. We are not thieves. We are not thieves. Where there are thieves, they must be caught and arrested. But we are not thieves as black people. Issue or my sin started when I investigated. I issued the Bangkok report. Yes, my predecessor investigated that. It was for the past seven years. I then made sure we deal with the backlog issues. It's one of the reports which I've issued. But now the Reserve Bank, no one is checking. I'm not attacking the independence of the Reserve Bank, but I'm saying the Reserve Bank should be working in such a way that it benefits the masses, the poor, and the marginalized. So when you check in other countries, go and read that report. If you can go and read that report. I'm comparing the... Uh, 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 if there's a comparative study we've done showing most of the countries their reserve bank mandate is not in the constitution. South Africa, we were done disservice by putting that in the constitution because when you put the reserve bank mandate in the constitution, there's nothing you can do. Your US, your New Zealand, everyone, they are having it as part of the national legislation. Then you change that legislation as and when the needs of the country are demanding. Then that's where my...